Yeah. You know what? It's like no judgment, no shaming here. I mean, I, I get it. We're emailing ourselves because we fought a lot to keep track of, right? Yeah. We got a lot to do. We're busy, right? So busy. Are you busy? Yeah, you're pretty busy, huh? You guys are busy? Yeah, pretty busy. No wonder we're tired, we're so busy. Does anybody else here find it ironic that uh, we're busier now than when we had to churn our own butter? I mean, I get it, we're busy, but you, you, you gotta admit, it's pretty wild. I mean, here we are in 2018. There's pretty much an app for everything. I can pay for my parking on my phone. I can order my groceries online. How, how are we busier than the pioneers? Do you remember the pioneers? Yeah, they were constantly doing things all day long just to survive. If they wanted anything, they first had to make it. Yeah, how are we busier than that? And there they were, like building their own homes, uh, growing their own food, sewing and knitting their own clothing. They even had to make their own candles. And not for the sexy reasons. Well, they weren't making candles to like set a mood or create an atmosphere. No, they were making candles so they wouldn't, you know, walk into a wall late at night. So they could make their way to the bedroom. Yeah, I mean, those were busy people. Those were busy times, but the thing is, the thing is, those pioneers, they didn't have to deal with emails, right? They didn't have to like maintain their online presence. They didn't have to do status updates. When a pioneer was churning their butter, they weren't churning their butter with one hand and taking a selfie with the other. No, at least they could focus on one thing at a time. I don't know about you, but I'm getting jealous of the pioneers. Man, busy, but very simple times. Uh, and there's some, there's some irony for you right now that we will stare at, at everybody's posts, right? Don't we love staring at everybody's photos on Instagram and Facebook? Oh, yeah. But we don't want to talk to them. We don't, we don't want to talk to these people. Oh, no, 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 because we're busy. <laughs> Guys, I have this lovely iPhone, and the thing that I hardly ever use it for is to call people. <laughs> like, when my phone starts ringing, I actually don't know what to do. It kind of stops me dead in my tracks. I'm kind of paralyzed. And the thing is, is, I don't want to pick up. I don't want to pick up. Because I don't know what I'm getting myself into. And I don't have time to find out. You know what? I think it's amazing that, like, I don't know what it was. 30 years ago or so, you know, before there was call display. Do you remember? Is anyone here old enough to remember when there wasn't call display? That was back when your phone was that thing attached to the kitchen wall. Isn't that amazing? Amazing that we had no idea who was calling us. And somehow we were fine with that, right? It'd be ringing over there. We're like, oh, okay, we're all willy nilly, like, hello? Right? All ready for anything. Yeah, we didn't know who it was, what they wanted, or how long we were going to be talking to them. We're like, hey, Oh, such brave souls. I'm not willing to take that risk. No way. I'm way too busy to have a conversation with you about how you started meal prepping. No time for that, right? I got a long to-do list. You are not a task in my iCal, right? Yeah, so okay, I love texting people. Do I have any fellow texters here in the crowd? You texting? <laughs> Favorite mode of communication for me, guys. Oh, I love texting people. But you know what the worst is? Is when I text someone and they call me back. <laughs> have you ever had that harrowing moment? You're like, was, was my text 
that's not a clear message. A clear indication that I don't want to talk. But you gotta, you gotta answer, right? Because they know you're holding your phone. You just friggin' texted them. And you're like, hi, yeah, great. Oh, oh you're, oh, you're vegan now too. Oh, you gluten free, amazing. You better get prepping. Yeah, I love texting people. I do. It's my favorite way to just, you know, touch base, keep in touch. But there are those times when you do have to call someone, right? Like, it's not appropriate to be discussing a certain matter in an email or a text message. You know those moments. You know when you gotta call them. And I grab my phone, and I dial their number, and as it's ringing, I do the prayer. <laughs> Anybody else here doing the voicemail prayer? Please don't pick up, please don't pick up, please don't pick up. One more ring and I'm a free woman! <laughs> Do you ever strategically call someone's landline when you're pretty sure they're going to be out somewhere? <laughs> but sometimes that plan messes up, right, and they answer and you're like, Oh, hi, I didn't think you'd be home. <laughs> oh, crap, devious plan revealed. Now I know what you're thinking again, you're like, what? Who's got a landline? <laughs> Who the hell has a landline? Okay, raise your hands, show me. If you've gotten rid of your landline, you just got smartphones at home, let's see it. Loud and proud, sisters and brothers. Yeah, that's like two thirds of the room, which is cool, which is cool. But the thing is, you can't hang up on people like you used to, huh? Like when someone really like, you know, ticks you off in a phone conversation, Gone, gone are the days of smashing down the receiver, making it ring in their ear. Yeah, it's just not the same when you try to violently press end call. Like, right, no matter what you do, it just goes silent. And the person on the other end assumes that the cell signal dropped and they call you back. It's quite a paradox, hey? These, uh, these mini computers that we're walking around with, holding in our hands. Right, because they provide a ton of convenience, right? But the thing is, they're also a huge distraction. Huge obsession. Like, guys, do you ever wish your partner would look at you the way that they look at their phone? <laughs> right, it's like... Just saying, some days I get jealous. <laughs> 